Now listen guys, I'm about to enter Bogota's most dangerous street. Now I can't just be walking in with my camera like this in front of me, it's going to get pinched. So I'm going to keep it by my waist and I'm just going to film in front and just show you what it's like down here. Let me tell you, it's rough. I've never seen anything like it. And yeah, hopefully we'll make it to the end. So let's do it. It's down this way. I mean, look at this. It's a massive gaping hole here in the middle of the street. Imagine falling down that in the middle of the night. Good God. Anyway, this is the street. Wish me luck. Amigo. Here's the old Bill, patrolling the area, driving on the streets. Literally driving on the streets. Wow, guys, I found Bogota's number one street performer. Look at him. Look at him go. I'll give him some money in a minute. Let's see if anyone else gives him some money. Hey, how you doing? Hey, bro. I'm waiting for the next traffic to stop so this man can perform. I bet I'll give him some money, help him out. Ready? Let's go for it. There he is. Vamos. Oh, look out. Old Bella in town. Got the police staring at me on the left, by the way. Hopefully no issues. Look at this. Gracias, amigo. Here, take this. Hey, thank you very much. No problem, brother. Good, good luck, luck good luck. Wow, we're on the other side of the street now. Let's carry on. Oh my God. This place is wild. Oh. Guys, we're going to cross the road. It seemed like a monument in the distance. I don't know what it represents. It's basically shards of metal stuck into the ground. Let's go look at it. Blimey, what even is this? Right in the centre here, in the most dangerous street in Bogota. What a place. Some guys over there smoking up. Now it's only 2 p.m. so obviously it's not too active. When the sun goes down I can imagine this street is chaos. The same to say I will not be coming back to film at night time. That would be a pretty stupid thing to do. This place is rough. I don't know if my camera picks it up behind me to the left of me. People smoking crack and just doing it broad daylight here. This is wild, honestly. Everywhere you go, something happens around every corner. Look at this, look. It's about 10,000 people protesting here in the centre. Don't know what about. It goes on for miles. Blimey, first impressions of Bogota. Never seen a place like it. Oh man. I knew I've left that protest. I think it was a protest anyway. Let's carry on. Good God. That is some sight right there. Well guys, I was sat in the centre of Bogota having a coffee just then and I checked my Instagram and I got a message from Sergio here, a local from Colombia, and he said, Ben, I watch your videos. Any chance you want to go see the barrios of Bogota? And that's where we are. We've driven up the mountains and we have entered the barrio. Sergio, thanks for bringing me, mate. You're very welcome, Ben. But you've never been here, right? Uh, first, time, first time I've been here to, to this barrio, yeah, first time. Is it safe? Mm, according to the lady we just spoke to, it's not too safe to be standing here too much. Time. Oh, God. But, okay. Uh, it doesn't feel unsafe. It feels all right. And now I'm with you, you can protect me with your Spanish skills. Yeah, I but can negotiate. Exactly. Yeah. But this is our view of the barrio. Look at this. I mean, the center of Bogota was down there where I've just been walking around. 
So let's walk around the barrio for a few minutes and um, yeah, maybe get some food, some Colombian food and yeah, enjoy it. Vamos. Let's go, Sergio. Lead the way. Well, we're walking further into the barrio. I'll be honest, it's quite quiet. Sergio just mentions, obviously, everyone's at work, school, or in the centre of Bogota. So it's quite quiet, as you can see. Streets are empty. But we're walking down this way. Looks a bit dodgy. Blimey, Sergio, this is uh, pretty hardcore up here. Still feel safe, mate? <laughs> very safe. It's very safe up here. So these boys are from Venezuela. How long have you lived in uh, Colombia? Four years. And why, why did you leave Venezuela? The food, everything's expensive. Yeah. But Colombia is better here? Yes, mejor in Colombia. Yeah. They're not bad, but they're not great. At least they have something to eat, and uh, they're making rent. Yeah, they're making rent. They're making rent. And how, how do you make money, like in here? Yeah, everything that they can do. Uh, he says that they work in um like in a in a small um grocery place. Okay. Like in a small like street vendor. Yeah. Perfect. Let's get a selfie. Ready? Get in on a selfie. Bien. Take care, guys. Take care. Adios. Adios. That was the boys from the barrio. But they're from Venezuela. There's a lot of Venezuelans here in uh, Colombia. They've um, left Venezuela for obvious reasons. The crisis happened there. And I'm hoping to go there soon, if they let me in. We're going to go across the land border. I wouldn't have let you in. <laughs> if they let me in, mate, it's going to be dodgy. <laughs> right, this is the bottom of the barrio now. I've been walking about 20 minutes. Como estas? It's your place. What about this graffiti? It's you as well? I have a look. I like it. Let's have a look. I've met the number one graffiti artist here in the barrio. Look at his work here. It's Dragon Ball Z, isn't it? I can't remember. I'm too old for this stuff. Pikachu, obviously. That blue tail from Pokemon. I like it. Where are we to now, mate? Uh, right now we're close to Bicentenario Park, which is a, uh, there's like a flea market, but like very old stuff uh, and toys and it's, uh, you can find like very sketchy things. Yeah, it's yeah. just random things on the floor here, look, up for sale. Just random bits and bobs, let's have a look. Maybe I can buy That's something. Incredible place, man, you know? Yeah, it's good. Can I buy something? So good to have How are you doing, you okay? Oh, you're, where are you from? England. Thank you come for, for, for coming to this beautiful country. I know maybe you're coming for investigation or you're in the city or something like that. Tourists. Oh, yeah. right, this is good. I go uh, Bogota, Medellin. Okay, around Colombia. See, si, see, si, see. Si. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from here. Yeah? I'm from here, but, uh, I'm um, you know, this country is nice and um, I know everything was going on around this country and it's beautiful. Yeah. So this is like a flea market area, yeah? Yeah, this, this guy is, is surviving the street, you know? Yeah. So it's just random things on the floor. Yeah. They've they got like microphones and yeah, hairbrushes. Yeah, yeah. All, all, all of this is classic, you know? Yeah. Just don't use it anybody now. So they just want to hopefully make some money. Just random things look on the floor. Maybe found on the floor and just selling it on. Adam signed a DVD. Yeah. Maybe this? Yeah, this is exactly. okay. Hey guys, chicos, socio yo. One Adam Sandler DVD, please. Is he okay? Como estas? Dos is my green guy in Don Luca, breve. Whatever. Gracias. Gracias, amigo. Yeah. There you go, Sergio. Got an Adam Sandler DVD. Let's go watch it. From Colombia. Si, sí, señor. De donde? What's your name, anyway? My name is Johnny. Johnny? Yeah. You speak good English, Johnny? Yeah, I know. How did you learn English? In, in, in the north city of this country, Colombia, Cartagena. Oh, yeah, it's nice, though. I want to go there. Yeah. Wow, so this is the uh, this is the market underneath the uh, 
the bridge yeah. here. And, and you, around this place, you see the, deal, the dealers, you know, this place is traffic drugs. Yeah, of course, yeah. It's got to make money, mate. Got to make money. Yeah, in this country, you don't make nothing with the drugs. Yeah, true. Well, let's buy some more things. Some guys over here chilling. No? Yeah, no film? Okay, no worries. Gracias. Ooh, it's very hot. Can you hold my um, Adam Sandler DVD? Oh, dear. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> of course, yes. What do you say, this man? He just wants to buy one. Oh, you want one? See, si. see, si, of course. I can pay. It's okay. I will pay. No problems, bro. Enjoy it. There we go. <laughs> Are you cause cake here in the barrier? Feel weird, right? Oh, boy, be in. It's nice. I like it. It's around one dollar fifty cents. Wow, guys, that got a bit bit scary then. Um, I don't know if I got on film, but the guy started screaming at me, like getting really aggressive to put the camera away. Will he take it from you? Yeah, he said, I'll take it from me and just smash it up. Luckily, Johnny calmed them down, the legend. We've lost him now. We just got this little street snack and he just disappeared. But Johnny saved our ass. If you're watching this, mate, you're a legend. <laughs> So yeah, thank you once again, Johnny, for saving my camera and for me getting beaten up. Whoa. Anyway, we're nearly at the center of town now. We've left the barrio. But basically, back there was about a mile long of flea market. And I couldn't film it because those guys obviously told me to put the camera away. So we're near the center of town. What is your name? You are speaking English? Yes, you speak yeah. English? Yes, you're a tourist? Tourist, brother, yes. Ah, welcome to Colombia, my friend. You're, thank you, Val. Uh, How are you? Where are you from? England. Yungra? Colombia? Colombia, el people, ah, yes. What are you selling? Are you selling something? El trabajo en pulseras, pues voy a ir a encender un negocio que tengo. What did he say? He says he works in wristbands. O sea, me llegué a surtir, llegué a surtirme ahí. Okay, I buy one. Yes? That's enough, yes, see? Sí. I'll take one, my friend. Mira, tendería una de esas. Which one? Gracias. ¿Te la amarro? Sí. You speak good English? Yeah, you are speaking English. Keep up the good work, my friend. You make lots of money here. Yes, my name is Santiago. Santiago? Yes. Great name. No, tranquilo, no problem. Eh, Gracias, bacán, amigo. Bacán, 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 bacán. Adios. Adios. Big thank you to Sergio for taking me to the barrio and meeting those great people like Johnny. You're a good man. Thank you. Thank you, Ben, for coming here and uh, going to the barrio and daring to talk to all these people. Did you enjoy the barrio? Uh, I did. It was very quiet. Yeah. Um, not too eventful, but... Got uh, a bit intense towards the end. It got a little intense at the end. Yeah. yeah. But we've escaped. We're back in the safety of Bogota. Oh my, nearly forgot about this, my Adam Sandler DVD. I'm gonna go home right now and watch this and then head out back tonight. Cheers mate. <laughs>